Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smalter Jannah. Today we'll be discussing some of the main reasons why people have such lavish weddings and my mum will be featured in this episode too. Aap bache ho jao, apna kaam karo. Main bada ho gaya, isi liye shaadi ho rahi hai. Kidhar gaya hai juta? Oh god. Smalter Jannah. Number 1. Parents showing off. Parents really want to use this opportunity to show the community how well off they are and how well they've done. Yeah, because it's moments like this, it's a perfect opportunity to show off to people, mate. Because the more money you're pumping in, mate, the more people are going to be like, wow. <gasps> and then people wonder where the evil eye comes from, mate. It comes from moments like this, where you're flashing the cash and you got nothing to back it up. Oh, Ami, बात कोई करनी थी शादी के बारे में करो करो बेटा मैं सोच रहा था कि हम सिंपल शादी करें सिंपल नहीं 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 मैं ये ऐसा कभी नहीं होने दूंगी लोग क्या समझेंगे आपको पता नहीं है कि हम चौधरी हैं चौधरी जो होते हैं ना चौधरी उनकी कोई इज्जत होती है तो पीछे वालों को पता चलेगा तो वो क्या कहेंगे लेकिन मैं सिंपल करना चाहता हूँ ये मुझे लोगों की परवाह नहीं है चौधरी नहीं मुझे पता ये क्या है तुझे नहीं पता ना मुझे तो पता है ना मैंने खानदान में रहना है मुंह दिखाना है उनको शादी करके क्या आपने बेजती करवानी है समझ रहे हो या नहीं आपकी खोपड़ी में कुछ जा रहा है या नहीं आप बच्चे हो जाओ अपना काम करो मैं बड़ा हो गया इसीलिए शादी हो रही है किधर गया है जूता नंबर टू The media. When we kids, mate, watching all that Bollywood, Tosh, Lollywood, Dollywood, Nollywood, whatever wood that you guys have, Asians grow up with Bollywood. And any time there's a wedding, mate, it's madness. Yeah, it just looks mad. Even in Hollywood, the weddings are well expensive, mate. So since you're a kid, we're seeing it constantly in the media, and then when it comes time for us to get married, we're most likely gonna follow the same route, then, isn't it? Number three, the attention. People probably love the attention. It's the one day in your life, probably, that everyone's coming just because of you. Everyone's dressed to impress just for you. You're gonna be getting gifts, you're gonna be getting money, you're gonna be getting people who are coming to your wedding that you don't really want there that just come to complain for the food even though you spent loads of money on it. And of course people that are gonna be mad at you because you didn't invite them to the wedding because you don't really know them well enough. You see them casually every now and then and you don't want to be spending 30 quid on someone that you only say hi to once a year. Number four. Parents equate lavishness to love. Somehow certain parents think the more money you spend is equated to the more you love your kids or the more you love the wife you're about to get married to. That's messed up thinking mate. लेकिन लोगों को तो नहीं पता ना लोग कहेंगे कि ये खर्च ही नहीं करती बेटे पे लेकिन क्यामत के दिन हमें अल्लाह के सामने ओहो क्यामत के दिन वो तो बात की बात है लोगों के मुंह तो पहले बंद करें ना Number five, too scared. Everyone's doing it, so you don't want to break away from the crowd. Everyone's doing it, therefore you feel more comfortable doing it as well, mate. You're just gonna end up doing it. That the most important journey is the marriage, not the wedding day. So if Allah's helped you get married, why on earth, when everybody is there and it's time for you to big up Allah? Why is it that people do the exact opposite? You want Allah to bless your marriage, what are you doing about it? You have a two minute dua when the Imam comes in and you just take the music down, he comes in, does the nikah and then he's not even out the door and you start pumping up the music. Mad! What are the chances of that dua being accepted mate? I'll, I'll sin on this day, ah come on it's just one day, just one day. But just one drop of poison will be enough to kill you. Until next time guys, Asalaamu Alaikum.